down to the evaluation from our functionaries. And as I see that we had seven participants in the table topics portion, uh, Mr. Timer, let's give our table topics evaluator, let's give him seven to nine minutes. And for our table topics evaluator, uh, who's our table topics evaluator once more? Lorenzo. Oh, Enzo, please. Hello, hello, Toastmasters and guests. I'm your Table Topics Evaluator. Uh, can you hear me? Hear me? Okay. So first is the empath. Uh, her question is, tell us something you like about your mother. Uh, first, uh, I would like to commend you for answering the question clearly. And you use the, for using the story message and gain pattern. Uh, next is, uh, my recommendation for you is next time you might want to consider trying to use other structures in answering uh, the table topics. And uh, you might also want to try uh, maximizing your pauses. But overall, you gave us a good lesson or skill that we can use, especially in this current crisis that we are experiencing, which is being on our toes and absorb informations uh, quickly and make informative decisions. Next is uh, TM Mylin. Her question is, tell us something you know nothing about. Uh, I would like to commend you for answering immediately. Uh, next time, you might want to consider uh, giving additional message or lessons behind your stories so we can remember more your, uh, your story or your answer. But overall, you gave us a good background of what you are currently experiencing in the hospital. Uh, next is Heather. Uh, unfortunately, during, during, during you answering, it was choppy. I wasn't able to hear your, your question, but I saw that you gave your opinion immediately. Uh, next time, uh, you might want to use uh, other table topics pattern when you answer uh, the table topics questions. But I would like to commend you for participating and answering the questions right away. The question right away. Next is TM Porsche. Her question is, how would you like to live in old age. Uh, I would like to commend you for also answering the question right away. Next time, uh, you might want to, to try using our guide in answering table topics. But overall, you gave a good, a clear answer and you gave us a good perspective of how we can live our life more fulfilled by striving to be accomplished and happy. Next is TM Jude. His question is, what do you do to stay healthy? So I would like to commend you for your answer because you answered with enthusiasm and you still use hand gestures even, even during our online meeting. Uh, next time, you might want to consider uh, sharing more benefits of exercising, especially during this pandemic. But overall, it was a good answer and clear message. Next is TM Ellen. What do you spend too much time on 
and what do you spend not enough time on? So first, I would like to commend you for answering the question based from your personal experience and answering it right away. Uh, you might want to consider using our other table topics pattern and you could also want to try uh, using hand gestures when you answer next time. But overall, it was a good answer. You gave us an idea that we should use and maximize this time more to reconnect with our family. Lastly is uh, the enjoy. Her question is, tell us about your friends that you have known the longest. Uh, first, uh, I would like to commend you for, uh, for participating and answering immediately, even if you just joined the meeting, and for sharing a personal story. Uh, next time, you might want to try sharing more lessons to complement your story. But overall, it was a good and touching answer. Uh, back, back to you, TM, TM Raul de Vega. Yes, thank you very much, Enzo. Now, as the general evaluator, I'm privileged to offer feedback to our evaluators. And for my comments on Enzo, I like how he's able to give the appropriate organizational pattern when it comes to feedback for our table topics participants. Notice he follows a commend, recommend, commend pattern. And that is ideal in giving feedback for our table topics participants. It doesn't take more than a minute. It's very, it's very concise and detailed when giving feedback. In fact, I like how Enzo is able to show that he was listening. Not only does he take note of the topic, his, uh, towards his uh, summary, you can tell that he caught the message of our speaker. Now, uh, for Enzo, uh, here's what I would recommend. Mm, when, when providing feedback, if you're going to suggest that a person use another pattern, try to consider first if, if the participant used the right pattern. So to give you an example, if the topic, if the topic is asking that they use a, a story, I'll give you an example like the topic for Patricia. Her topic was tell something about your mom. Tell something about your mom. And in, in her situation, it, she used something like, a, she started with a story, which was effective in getting the attention of the audience and giving us a good perspective about her mom. So uh, perhaps uh, what, uh, what you might have done, since she was already giving a story, you might have wanted to suggest to her, okay, my recommendation is that you uh, provide your, you, you specify your message and game. Something along those lines, because she was already giving the a specific story. Just something to recommend as we, as we train ourselves to see if they use the right pattern. But overall, I like how you were showing listening skills. And the conciseness is exactly what we can use whenever we provide table topics feedback. Let's give Enzo a round of applause. Congratulations, Enzo. Thank you. Okay. We now move on to the evaluation for our prepared speakers. And uh, Mr. Timer, for our individual evaluators, we'll give them two to three minutes. For our first speaker, for our icebreaker speaker, that's Christina Young. Our evaluator, let's call her evaluator, Patricia Maliksi, Toastmaster. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, good afternoon. So I'm here to evaluate Christine, President Christina's first speech. This is her icebreaker 
for level project one. Her, the title of her speech is Life is Beautiful. So, Press Christina, I wanted to commend you for delivering your first speech. I commend that, that even if we're doing an online meeting, you have very good facial expressions. It was, it was translating through the screens and we were able to feel what you were, uh, what you were uh, telling a story about. Also, I would like to commend your content. With icebreaker speeches, I, suggest, I, I like that you were vulnerable, vulnerable enough to share your story, which is a very personal one. You mentioned that um, you, before you were chauffeured and then you became, uh, you rode the jeepney. So the way you pictured, the way you uh, use your words to help us imagine what you were going through, I would like to commend you on using words to picture the situation. So congratulations. And some points for recommendation. I suggest in your next speech, uh, your, the body of your content, your introduction was very good. So I would like to commend you on that. The body would have, uh, you would, I suggest that the body for your next speech is, for example, you start with your dad's journey. So, so that the audience uh, won't be confused on what you, how the flow of the story is going. So for example, my dad is a hardworking fellow. And because of that, he became a successful shipping magnate. He had four children and I'm the second. So you see how the flow of the story is instead of like um, doing it uh, uh, in, in, but I know that you were trying to uh, do it in a way that you were able to picture it better. And so for your next speech, I suggest that you improve on your body body the body of your speech next an improvement i suggest in your next speech you do your uh eye contact and since all of us are ladies and gentlemen where this is our first online meeting and i would like to commend everyone in speaking and also especially and christina um you were uh, an improvement is you were looking up so maybe look in the uh uh camera of your screen like this and so overall the speech you were able to achieve your objective which is sharing a bit of yourself to the audience and we got to know you better so ladies and gentlemen that's all give president christina a, a virtual applause yes okay so and to close my evaluation i would like to share the golden nugget for your speech which, which is life is beautiful each step has a meaning and just like now i would like to add that just like now with what we're facing we should take things one step at a time so back to you general evaluator all right thank you thank you very much patricia now as an individual evaluator i like how patricia is able to motivate our speaker how she's able to motivate christina by showing how she was able to capture the message that Christina was uh, uh, tried to give. I also like how Pat was also taking notes about uh, parts about the story which, which uh, Christina had shared. Now, something to, to work on, um, Pat, especially when you give, a, give evaluation, I, I, I like how you're able to recommend that she, how she improved her presentation, especially with the content. Now, what you might want to do, you might want to mention specifically to Christina how you felt at that particular portion. So to give an example, you could probably say, oh, you know what, Christina, during the introduction of your speech, I, I got lost when you were talking about your father and the kind of business. I would have been able to catch your message faster if you had mentioned it uh, uh, this way. Then after that, you provide the example that uh, you gave. So uh, specifically pointing out the portion and how it affected you, that would help Christina know, oh, okay, so here's why I need to change this part. Uh, I like 
uh, overall, I like how you're able to motivate our, spe our speaker, uh, Christina, especially by mentioning that she was able to achieve the objectives of her speech. So that goes to show that not only in terms of organization, but also letting the audience know that, hey, uh, Christina was able to achieve the objectives. Very important in any speaker's evaluation. Let's give Pat a round of applause. All right. We now move on to our next evaluator. I see that uh, this is for Marlon's presentation and the evaluator, uh, do I understand it correctly? Les is going to evaluate Marlon. And then later on, are we going to hear from Gigi? Gigi first, sir. So Les first. P and okay. Gigi first. Ah, PM Gigi will be first. Okay, so Gigi, the floor is yours. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. So this is the first time that I will be evaluating. And I was, I was quite hesitant last night when Lois told me. Anyway, um, I'm happy to see Marlon again presenting. And I'm very glad that he presented like a salesperson. And that is my background. I've been in sales for 31 years. So... I have observed from Marlon's presentation that he presented the content very well about remote workflow solutions. He was talking about their company uh, offering RAS, the remote access solutions, which is uh, very important nowadays. And he was able to state ref, uh, facts about this workflow solution. He was able to uh, give us a the idea on the process flow. He also made mention specifically on the two-factor authentication with this security, very important nowadays. Requirements also, he stated about the bandwidth so that we can do remote access, we can work from home. And of course, he stated the benefits, how it's user-friendly, fast, easy to use, and it is secure. He also mentioned comparative analysis. He showed us what competitor team viewer is um, uh, using. Uh, I'm saying uh, team viewer, and of course the prices uh, as compared to what they are offering in terms of flexibility as well. And then um, action at the end. Also, I I just want to share um, maybe some thoughts and recommend on how you can do better next time. Maybe uh, we, since this is online, maybe you were not able to move your hand to express freely what you really wanted to say. And maybe I encourage you to put reference in the state, uh, stated facts and um, uh, success stories. And maybe I can encourage you to relate the current what you are offering to the current situation of BCP, which is a business continuity plan with what's happening with, the, uh, with current events. Other than that, you did really very well from the first time I saw you present last year. That was the last time I saw you and you really did very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And, okay, all right. So thank you very much, Gigi. And uh, I see that uh, that Les is going to offer feedback as well. Will we will we be calling Les at this point? Yeah, Les, please. All right. My role here is essentially to evaluate Gigi for oh, her project okay. evaluation and okay. feedback on the manner how she evaluated Toastmaster Marlon. Now, first oh, okay. of all, I, I really like that you were able to build the self-esteem. You also expressed some sincerity and your knowledge of Marlon's development as a speaker. Why do I say that? Because when you said, I'm happy to see Marlon presenting again, and that told me that you had some idea how Marlon was presenting before. As we know, Marlon has been uh, on and off in his uh, presentations with, with his speeches. I also like that you are very detailed in how you express the, how Marlon was able to express his speech by way of the, the details that he gave on his speech. 
you also gave some specific recommendations like putting references and success stories, which I think will be valuable for this kind of a speech, especially when it sounded like Marlon is seemingly selling something. And that's the concept of, of the remote access solutions. Now, something that you, you may want to consider adding also is the manner of delivery. Right on the start, and this is one speech where Marlon used visual aids, and he used slides here. The first part of the, the slide I thought was rather cramped because it had too much text on the slide, the slide that says reality. In fact, there was one point where Marlon was actually reading from the slide itself. My suggestion is to have as little text as possible, probably just four lines of text and put more graphics, and that would be more appealing to the audience. And then expound on those little number lines of text. Because that's how you develop the speech, really. You just use the bullets to prompt you to speak, to deliver your, your thoughts, or to, de to deliver your, your speech. Another thing that probably you could add also is on the content, on his selection of content, which I thought was very relevant with the way he introduced the, with the COVID, the COVID phenomenon, and that put a little more interest on the speech that he was giving. Because many of us will be working from home or many of us have started to work from home. So, oh, another thing that you might want also to add, because if you notice, Marlon also ended with a Q&A, a brief Q&A. Now, one thing to notice is that when you have a Q&A format towards the end of your speech, sometimes it may be awkward when nobody asks a question. Mm -hmm. So one thing that, and we're lucky. Well, I, I would think Marlon was lucky that there were a couple of people who asked questions. So just, just to ensure that there will be someone, one who will be asking, maybe Marlon could, you could uh, recommend Marlon to have someone to it's like a planted, a planted person who would give a question. And what, what generally happens here is that when that person asks a question, people in the audience will start to think. And when they start to think, the ball goes rolling and you have a succession of questions thereafter. But I really like your, the way you built his, your, his esteem and your, the way you wanted, him to, you wanted to encourage him to proceed to giving more speeches. Very good evaluation, Toastmaster Gigi. Back to you, General Evaluator. All right. All right, thank you very much, Les. Now, as the General Evaluator, of course, I'd like to comment on both uh, Gigi and Les, okay? I, I like how G Gigi establishes her, her credentials as an evaluator. Having been a, a sales professional for over 20 years, and when she mentions that at the onset, good way of building credibility and very friendly the way that Gigi offers feedback for for our participant Marlon and then and from the case of Les offering feedback on how Gigi could have given her feedback better notice how he's able to cover not just the presentation also the Q&A the question and answer portion so very thorough for in uh, in your case uh, uh, Les now for for both on uh, one area an area that I'd like to recommend uh, perhaps we could be a bit more specific for the benefit of Marlon so if we're going to say that all right the, the less is very sharp okay because I also had the same feedback so if you're going to mention that the slides were cramped I had the same notes too maybe we could give Marlon an example so we could say let's say in the opening slide you could have just placed their COVID-19 149 countries and then work from home will limit the risk so that so with the short bullet points at least it won't it would be a lot more eye-friendly so a specific example could definitely help our good friend Marlon and then for the q and I, 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 I felt that Mar Marlon might have wanted to come across as a lot more uh, determined in his responses, because, especially when he was going to talk about remote access. So during the Q&A, uh, uh, there were some opportunities where I felt that he could have said something along the lines of, okay, let me tell you how remote access would be better 
a, would be a better alternative than Google. And then in doing so, it would give the audience a, a more, a lot clearer idea about how helpful remote access is. Since I felt that this objective was to persuade our audience on the benefits of remote access. But overall, I, uh, for the audience, you can see how not only do we, does the Toastmasters program cover someone offering feedback, but the evaluators also get feedback from our experienced members. And that's something that, that helps our guests see the value that the Toastmasters program brings. Congratulations to our evaluators, Gigi and Les. Thank you.